going on, y'all? You feel me? I know it's been a minute. You feel me? I'm, I'm actually doing a whole lot of other stuff, so it's kind of tough to make a lot of videos right now, but I'm about to start hitting them soon for y'all making more, but, you know, today I want to get into a, a little topic, you know, about Max, you know, um, definitely this is the official Max B channel, you know, for y'all, you feel me, for Max content, you know, I'm going to try to have that daily for y'all. You feel me? Um, before I get started into the topic, you feel me? You know, y'all got to give me some subscribes. Like I said, I was looking for 10 subscribes. You feel me? And then we're just going to move on to the series, you know. We we got four right now. It's kind of it's moving kind of slow right now for them, for them subs, you know. We need those now. You feel me? But um, today I want to touch on a couple things about two, about two topics, you know. Um, the first one is... Um, Max, you know, uh, definitely talk uh, about Max. Um, I don't think he get enough credit um, for the, his um, foresight on the game, on how it was changing at that time. Remember, it was 2009, you feel me? Um, and then now, it was, we in 2019, it's damn near 10 years already, you know. So um, back in 2009, you know, music was distributed, like, mostly, like, off of, like, LimeWire was still popping, you know. People were still using LimeWire, you know. So I don't know how many of y'all remember that time where people was downloading free music music off the internet, you know, and all of that, you know, for real, you know, um, you know, uh, what else, you know, like I said, MySpace was jumping, you know, Max was, uh, and then also like videos, you know, it wasn't really YouTube at this time, like it was, but it was relatively new, you feel me, so con music content was still coming from those avenues, and, um, and video-wise, visuals, it came a lot off of DVDs at that era, you feel me, so, so now it's like, Ain't no DVDs because every video was on YouTube. Every interview was on YouTube, you know. At this time, you know, a lot of the visuals were, like I said, you know, coming off of DVDs. You had the Come Up DVD, number one. You had Cocaine City. You had um, Smack, you know. Um, you had a whole lot of, and more of them. I don't, um, Just Sopranos, you know. I don't want to leave anybody out, but it was a, a whole bunch of DVDs at this time, you know. That's why at Ocean Drop TV, that's definitely from Long Island. That was another DVD. They caught Max a couple times coming from the Coliseum and all that. You know, definitely, like I said, it's the Islanders, you know. we I'm right around the corner from the Coliseum and all that. That's like Madison Square Garden where I'm from, the Coliseum, you know. So so the thing with Max was Max has seen it because, like I said, that era, the music was distributed differently. So when I, so Max seen the, the shift, like everything was going towards the Internet. Like like um, like um Max signed, before Max went in, Max signed a deal with Amalgam Digital. And that wasn't even a an official like recording. Like it was a Internet deal. You feel me? And, and and people was clowning Max at this time when he signed this deal. You feel me? He he was one of the first artists who signed the internet deal. You feel me? And this is before everything shifted because at this time music was still coming. People, like LimeWire was popping. Like I said, those avenues. It was that's how music was coming out, bootlegging and all that craziness. You know, it was just real crazy. You know, things just the music was just distributed different the way it is now. You feel me? So like I said, and and YouTube wasn't where it is today. You feel me? See now y'all think YouTube was this big big thing, but at that time YouTube was just on the scene. You feel me? You know, in '09, I take you back. Everybody got iPhones and Androids now. And back in '08, '09, everybody had the Blackberries and, and the iPhones. I think it was the iPhone three. Like that was like it didn't ever have FaceTime and all of that. It didn't. It, none of that was popping yet. You feel me? None of that was was around just yet. You feel me? So technology has changed in ten years. You feel me? So um, so so back to what I was saying was when Max signed the internet deal, he was getting clowned for it. Like people was live. Like J.R. Ryder was saying in the rhyme, like he clowned him like that. He signed the internet deal. You feel me at this time? Because everybody was signing with majors. You know, you know, you Def Jam, you had this, but Max went the internet route because he seen. Where, it was, where music was getting distributed like Max had to teach like he had a merchandise store it was like Amalgam Digital he was like I think Currency was on that label too you know it was a couple of artists but but Max jumped that, that label, got that label jumping, Amalgam Digital, and that was strictly off the internet. He had the t-shirts, he had um, all his music was on that website. It was basically like MaxB.com in so many words. You know, um, and, um, and then Max was doing 
some some like web series and all of that. Like people wasn't even doing all of this yet. You feel me? Like everybody wasn't getting like like YouTube, like getting they getting the shit jumping. Like Max had big I want everybody when they do get a chance, um, to look up Bigger Valley T V. You feel me? Go on YouTube and, and type in Bigger Valley T V and I, he got about over like twelve to fifteen episodes of that. You feel me? I want y'all to go take a look at Bigger Valley T V so y'all can see what I'm talking about. You know, so it was almost like a day in the life for Max. You know, he was going to trial and all of that, um, some studio runs, you know, eating, you know, just living life. Like, it was like almost like a, a damn near reality show. <laughs> you feel me? Almost like how Pete, like the Kardashians and all that, even though it wasn't to that level. But it, around the time where music was getting towards strictly internet and streaming and all that, Max was going to be at the forefront of the change, you feel me? And that's something that he don't get credit for either, you feel me? Just just to see where it was changing, you feel me? It's almost like, it's almost like okay, right now everybody got dollars, right? But let's say, um, the, I know hypothetically speaking, let's say like money was going to gold, you feel me? Like, like no, it was going to be no more paper cash. Money was going to be... You're going to be exchanging shit in gold. You feel me? So that means somebody would would see the change coming. Like, oh, damn, in another two years, it's going to be strictly gold running around. You feel me? Dude start stockpiling the gold. You feel me? Because he know in another year or two, this, this other stuff is going to be out. You feel me? So that's almost what Max was doing. You feel me? Because Max seen like, damn, you feel me? Nobody going to be buying CDs no more. Nobody, ain't nobody's really, and nobody's really, um, the way, the way music was getting distributed. It was just, it, this, he, he saw that, the internet, the streams, how everything was going to, music was, like, now nobody buys a CD no more, you feel me, nobody goes, unless maybe that's your favorite artist or whatever the hell, you feel me, maybe if Jay-Z drops something, I don't know who, the Beyonce, it's not too many people that people are going to the CD store for and picking up their album, you feel me, you, you got to be one of the major figures to, for that type of shit to be taking place, you feel me, so... So that was definitely lit that um, I felt like Max would have just been at the, the top of that. In so many words, like, um, I don't want to keep piggybacking, but the re number one, people don't realize um, where Max would have been right now. Like, like you look at a dude like Drake. That, like, I, I mean, I just look at a guy like Drake because Max was Max was out in 09, 08. I, so Max was heating the streets up late 08. Max went in, I think, September of 09, if I'm not mistaken. You feel me? So Max was heating the streets crazy the whole 08 and, the, and damn near the whole 09. I, I swear to you, as God is my witness, as soon as Max went in, this dude Drake came out. I didn't even know who the hell he was. You feel me? But... But Drake was was basically a replica of Max. You feel me? I, I was like everything that Max was doing, he was doing. And Max was in jail, so it was almost and nobody was doing the style that Max was doing because Max was had his own style. You feel me? So it was like this dude can't. I, and I don't mean to like like dump on Drake. You feel me? But Max was doing that before him. You feel me? And he just came out and literally just took the wave. You feel me? I mean, and now everybody's doing the wave now. You feel me? You can't turn the radio off without hearing some some influence on Max. Now, before I get into the next topic, I want y'all to check out Max. Max is dropping some shit right now too. You feel me? Max just came out with a um with a new song from A Boogie. You feel me? Uh, I'm so cold. You feel me? Y'all better check that shit out. You feel me? Um, so, uh, and he even did a little interview too. So, like a visual, Max in, in jail. You feel me? So, I mean, you know, it's like Max just need to come home in so many words, man. So, just so he can speak so heat in the streets out now because I just feel like, and Max, and, and, and mind you, Max is in jail spitting some of these shits. You feel me? And he's rapping better than the people that's out right now. You feel me? So, so I just want to say a couple songs that Max did from jail that y'all could go check out. He, he, it was a, most of, a lot of them were features, but number one, he did the whole Coke Boys Four mixtape. You feel me with French? So and, and he was on just about that every song off that shit, and all of those songs were recorded over the phone and in jail. And it sounds it sounds good. <clears throat> French, of course, you know he he polished it up. You feel me? But Max was spitting good, and you know that's super bad. I, I, Max was on that. French was on that too, but Max did have his own version of Super Bad. It's just him. You feel me? Um. And it was number one. He came out with the "I'm Black and I'm Proud." That was like his first song that he came out with in jail. 
you know, I'm black and I'm proud. You feel me? So that that's lit. Then he had he had a, he dropped a couple of songs with French. The hold on, don't push me. Um, what else he had? And then he came out with the shit with Dave East. Low key, that's probably like my favorite shit that he did in jail. You feel me? Um, that's some of the shit off the Coke Boys too. But that may have been my favorite song that he did like with with, with somebody from you know that you know that when he been in jail. I, I, he did pretty good on that shit, man. He he was talking he was talking that shit, man. You feel me? So um, shout out to all them dudes that's showing love to Max, man. Because like I said, a lot of y'all favorite rappers looked up to Max. You feel me? And some of y'all might not know who he is because number one, a lot of people was robbed of, of Max. You feel me? Like because he was just gonna be that the, the, one of the top rappers in the game. And the reason why I'm even touching on this is because I, this is a hip hop channel, number one. Um, but I love hip hop, so I know some people might be like, "Oh damn, man, why the, what's, what's so important?" You know, I got I got a lot of shit I got going on. You feel me? So I got a couple minutes. I just want to shoot shoot shade with y'all and all that, and put people on game because of, this is some shit I was telling with one of my coworkers about. You feel me? And, he, and I was telling him about to start this Max channel, and he he thought I was playing, but I told him, "Nah, I'm gonna really I'm gonna really take it there with them and all that." You feel me? So. um that's that's definitely what I want to say. Um, and another topic, um, I want to touch. I want to touch on with the fans. It won't be too much longer. Um, this channel specifically, the Top Flight AK channel. This is going to be strictly Max content. You feel me and all that. Now I got something else. I got popping. Um, y'all can check the comment section. I'm gonna um, leave a comment in there um, from my other channel. Is is Young AK? That's gonna be that channel alone. The Young AK. This is just strictly big about. You feel me? My other channel is is gonna be more random topics, just like random shit. Just we just gonna be touching on random shit that I, I've been through. You feel me? Other people been through the shit I done seen. The shit I done been through. I'm gonna touch on a whole lot more. You feel me? Um, so y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, I should have something popping on that channel definitely this weekend. Y'all monitor that channel early. You feel me? I'm, I'm going to definitely touch on some shit um, with y'all just so y'all could know a little bit more. You feel me? Because um, I don't really give it all out and all that. Like, I don't really tell people a lot of shit about me. You feel me? And I got a lot of shit, you feel me, that I could touch on that I done seen, I done been through. I just, I'm not a dude that just be talking about it and all that. So, um, that's why I wanted to, um, just, so just monitor that young AK channel and all that, you know? So, um, my, um, a couple, I want to do, I definitely want to shout out, um, y'all need to go check out Uncasa. Um, a lot of y'all might not know who he is. His name is Uncasa. You feel me? He was in Skull Gang. D he was in Dipset. You feel me? Um, he got the new channel out and all that, where he touching on a lot of shit, like, a lot of shit from the era that I came up in, you feel me? Because when I came up, like, on Casa, like, them niggas is, like, legends to me and all that. Like, all the whole dip set, like, you feel me? It's like niggas y'all don't even know. Like, um, like um, <laughs> another topic I want to say, Max was in the situation with dip set. Really, Jim Jones and all that. And a lot of people got mixed in with it, you feel me? But it never really took me off of Max. Like, Jim and shit. Like, at that time, I, may, I might have fell back from Jim. But uh, truth be told... Jones just dropped two classic albums. You feel me? He just dropped Wasted Talent. You feel me? Um, you feel me? Uh, last year, you feel me? Then he just came out with the Al Capo. This shit is this shit is lit. You feel me? Y'all need to really listen to that shit. You feel me? Um, but back piggybacking, a lot of people was robbed. You feel me? Um, a lot of young people, a lot of older people. You feel me? Y'all was robbed of something that y'all that was great, and it was like it was just. Yo, yeah, it just was gonna be. It was gonna be on another level, man. Max was gonna be like a pop star type nigga. You feel me? Like I'm trying to tell you, like, like almost some Michael Jackson. Like I mean, like niggas really, niggas really, really got robbed of Max, man. <laughs> you know. Um, another thing I want to touch on with Max, um, since this is like ten years, um, it's gonna be ten years since Max been in. Coming September, it's gonna be ten. Um, this is the second topic. This won't be much longer. Hold on, let me get a swig of this. Like, I so the next topic, you feel me, um, about Max was, being that this is the 10th, or going on the 10th year, Max low-key turned down a plea deal. You feel me? I'm not going to get into a, into a nigga case and all of that. Um, 
I'm not going to touch on none of that shit, like, because, you know, that shit be getting spooky and all that. You feel me? I'm not touch. I'm not the police. I don't, I don't give a fuck about I, I, none of that shit. You feel me? So I'm not touching on the case. You feel me? Um, but there's so many words. Max turned down a plea deal. You feel me? Um, they gave him a plea deal of 10 years. You feel me? Max could have took 10 and he would have been home right now. You feel me? Dead ass. You feel me? Um, but at that time, Max didn't take the deal, you know, because he thought he, I guess he was going to take the shit to trial, you feel me? This nigga Max, man, he, the momentum was crazy. I mean, like, the momentum, it was, you know, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's like, I'm trying to think who's on, like, a serious run right now. I'm trying to think, like, the last nigga who was, who, who was lit, like, it's almost like, I don't want to say, I don't want to say him, um. Just a, a like imagine like fifty at its peak like um just like so many I'm talking about a mega explosion like no homo like I'm talking about like a big a big splash in the game I'm I don't know who it's not too many artists who was gonna have that impact like like I'm not and a lot of people would tell you because the man was literally taking over New York City you feel me right before our very eyes you feel me um and uh, you feel me so but. He didn't take the deal because the momentum was crazy. Max was going to fuck around and blow. He was, yo, Max was about to be the next pop star in this shit. Like, I'm telling you, Max, yo, Max was going to be doing some mega shit. You know what I mean? Like, with some serious doing shit that you just... Uh, like, the, the crossover would have been crazy. Like, I mean, like, seriously. Like, wherever you see French Montana at, like, stature-wise, you feel me? Like, where he at in the game, Mac, just just multiply that by about five, you feel me? Or ten, you feel me? Because Max would have been there times ten, you feel me? You feel me? That's what he would have been, you feel me? And it's it's kind of tough, you feel me? Um, You feel me? So, there's a couple of... I, I want to definitely give y'all a song of the day, you feel me? Um, I want y'all to go look out, look out check out that West Coast Freestyle, you feel me? Max B, West Coast Freestyle, that's my shit right now, you feel me? That's that wave. You gotta you gotta turn that shit up. That nigga was spitting. You know what I mean? Um a second song I'm gonna do for y'all is um I want y'all to type in that quarantine intro. Type in Max B quarantine intro. You feel me? That's that's the two songs I want y'all to listen to. And then I'm gonna give something for the ladies. So listen to me closely. The first song I want y'all to listen to, West Coast Freestyle. Okay, Max B West Coast Freestyle. Second song Max B quarantine intro, fire. You feel me? Um, and then for the ladies, I want y'all to listen to that Max B American slur. That's what I want y'all to hear. Max B American slur. You feel me? And like I said, I need to get my subs up. You feel me? Um, on some real shit. You feel me? Like it's definitely slow. You feel me? We need. We should have. I should have been had that. You feel me? We not. We gotta get wavy. You feel me? That's why I've been kind of like you know low because I ain't getting the. You know what I mean? You feel me? So we're gonna get that right. You feel me? Um definitely check out my I'm gonna leave I'm gonna have some in the comment section for my for my random topic shit. You feel me? I'm about to touch on. You feel me? And I want y'all to get back with me, man. You feel me? Definitely representing Long Island, man. Hempstead, you feel me? Definitely, you feel me? Yeah, shit. Holla at me, y'all. Free Banks B, man. Free Bigger Valley, you feel me? He gonna come home, you feel me? And and when he come home, just remember I, I told you so. Ah, uh, stay wavy.